hey you guys welcome back to the channel if you have not subscribed please subscribe so you can be notified when i go live or upload a new video and please like this video it really does help me out so in this video the women talk about their feelings about the trial so let's go ahead and get into this Well, we're just going to give you guys updates on everything that's going going on. Um, it's been rough. It's been pretty rough for this past week. Mm -hmm. So that's why you haven't seen us on live as much. But, I mean, we are going to continue continue to proclaim his innocence because we know he's innocent yeah. we were there and just because we didn't get a fair trial it doesn't take away the fact that he's still innocent this is a very painful process for anybody who has had a loved one or anybody who's they know have been in jail and it's especially hard when you know they get done wrong and get a life sentence without the possibility of parole um that's a very 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 hard thing to i guess cope with yeah but we are fighting we're not going to stop fighting right you know he's innocent yeah and we know that mm -hmm. Truly, we do. And I know that a lot of people who are watching right now, you guys know that he's innocent too. Yeah. A lot of people know that. But we're in this weird time and space where... We do think, uh, or some of us might think that he's innocent of this particular charge, but he is not innocent by far. There is a lot of things that he's done and that is just as bad as this and equal to this and probably worse than this. And so, no, he's not an innocent man by far. I don't understand how it is that a person who is black and goes through the same struggles just like you and me. Um, and y'all could be happy about him going to jail or even getting a, a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Yeah. I don't think people like are, are compassionate about that. Like his rights were really, really violated. Yeah. Like violated to the point of no end. This lady, Threw the book at him and it's not fair and it's not right yeah and the and the thing that hurts me the most is that when we reach out for support because we thinking that you know we share the same problems as black human beings on this planet like a lot of people go through this mm -hmm. a lot of people's families or family members that you know have been falsely accused yeah. black men are the number one who are falsely accused and imprisoned from false false allegations yeah. and false testimonies yeah okay and they're the main ones that are put into this prison industrial complex for monetization they're making money off of him yeah but to see people happy about that i i don't think i could ever like agree with that or be okay with that yeah. we've been going through so much as a people and to just see him behind bars and everybody has watched the the, the case mm -hmm. everybody heard the testimony mm -hmm. how do you get asked on the stand how is it that you guys were positioned she said i was sitting on top of his lap with my legs over him and he said, okay, well, explain the process of how this happened, how this went down. And she said, oh, well, he helped me take my pants off. And the said, well, he helped you? Wait a minute, he helped, he helped you take your pants off. 
there's people right now that don't even have this type of a sentence that has actually done violent things like clear evidence clear out evidence yeah fufu just found a video where some uh somebody got sentenced to only 10 years and they shot somebody on a live yep in texas somebody sent us the article this case is nowhere near i don't understand how you i can agree with that i think there's a lot of people out there who have committed very horrific offenses and crimes and they're only spending you know nowhere near the time that they should and you know you can you can get out here and do something to somebody like off them delete them and maybe get 10 years and and that is if you're if if you have the right attorney you know how to play the case but for people like nature boy who ain't got a brain in his head he should have been busy coming up with a defense for his his case. He should have been studying the law. He should have been in the library studying codes. So that he can bring these things to his attorney. Because these, these people, they all work together. They're not here to help you. And I hate to say that, but it's true. So you have to be responsible for your own case and and you have to make your attorney do what you need him to do. You have to make them work for you and not the state that pays them. Because they're supposed to defend you. That is their job. That's what they're getting paid for. Even though their their money is coming from the state. But they're not going to do anything more than what they have to do. Unless you're the one that's stepping up. And, and finding out everything you can find out about your case. About the law. And about how to go about doing certain things. And then making your attorney work for you. Telling your attorney what you need him to do for you. Nature Boy was not at all interested in doing any of that. He sat behind those bars thinking that he could do whatever he wants to do. He could have drones flown over the fence, have stuff come in illegally in there to him he didn't care if he put those women at risk nature boy is uh, in my opinion he's selfish and he only thinks about himself You could convict somebody with life without the possibility of parole. Yeah, that was very, um, that was personal. That was definitely personal. That wasn't, uh, you know, somebody really seeking justice. That was some personal feelings in that. Yeah. And uh, I feel like this. Yeah, I, you know, I think, <clears throat> I think it was personal too. I think it was personal because when you're working for for Satan and your job is to lead people to hell then you come off and you start doing everything else other than what you're supposed to be doing what you agreed to do and you're making a fool out of yourself and then you're making a fool out of these elites who who are over you who's pulling your strings and, and putting you anywhere they want you to go and you're not listening 
and you're becoming a problem, they're going to put you away. So, yeah, that was personal. His job was to lead people to hell. He had people over him, and he was not listening to them. He was going a little bit crazy there in the end. If you remember all the stuff he was out there doing, he wasn't acting right. The whole time has been personal feelings from the alleged victim, from the detectives, from the judge, from the prosecutor. Yeah. Chief represents something big. This is bigger than us. Like, because Chief has been so vulnerable on his journey and been vocal and shared his world, his, his life with the world on social media. And he has become very big and known because of the powerful teachings that he teaches. Yeah. And um, with him already breaking down the corruption in the system and how it's made to split us apart and how black people use the system to, you know, kill each other, to hurt each other. And I feel like he's just being the example of what we all going through even if you haven't went through it it could still happen to you this is what they can do to us this is how our own people do us and this is the process of exposing the system i feel like this is the process of exposing the corruption yeah. And I feel like people really need to look at that and put their emotions aside. Like a lot of the, uh, um, throughout this whole time I've been seeing. I think the corruption start, starts with you. The corruption starts with you and, and your cult and how you are out here behaving and, and drawing people away from God and into, into darkness. If, if you want to see change, I suggest you start with yourself. Start with yourself, make some changes. Bring people to God. Don't, don't continue to bring people to, to Satan with your false teachings because you can't expect, you know, you, you talk about corruption, but Satan, he is full of corruption. You find no, no peace with him. You will always find destruction with Satan. People saying, you know, I haven't really agreed with certain stuff or I don't particularly, you know, been a follower, but I know that this is not right. Yeah. And I feel like um, this whole situation is just exposing a lot, a lot. And um, this is just the process of the exposure. You know, we are going to have our victory. This is not yeah. the end and we're going to keep pushing forward. Yeah, he's coming home. He is coming home. I now. understand that he's a, he's been an easy target because yeah. he like you said, he's a online personality. He's been vulnerable online. He puts everything online. And so people who don't have the courage enough to say here, this is what we're going through as a people. These are the challenges right here, right? In real time, yeah. people don't have the courage. They look down and they scrutinize yeah. the process that we're going through, through healing, you know, and he's been a target for that. And because he has this charisma that everybody's talking about, because he has this energy that is able to uh, captivate or influence a lot of people, that, what does that say about anybody in, in this? You know, if you think about his charisma, the it, the way he speaks, he is very charismatic, okay? It, the, and the way he speaks, 
if he would turn his heart to to the Lord, he he would bring so many people to God. But he won't do that. He feels like, you know, and this was my last conversation with him. He felt like that he, his job was to lead people to hell. There was no coming back from that. And, and he had come to peace with that. And with that comes the destruction that follows. And when you are out here doing the things that you're doing, calling yourself God, misleading people, sending, sending people the wrong, into the wrong direction, and then you're not even doing what, the, what you're supposed to be doing, and, and you're out here, like I said, making a fool out of yourself, and you're making a fool out of these people that you're working for. And you're making a fool out of your, your father, Satan. You're going to, you're going to, evil is going to take care of evil. And that's what happens. So, there are so many people that he could have led to, to, to God. It may have came with a, with a price. Just like him out here doing what he's doing. They, they, you see him in prison right now. So if he had given him his life to God, oh, they, they would have, he could have been, he probably would have been deleted. Because that would have been too far. But at least he would have had his soul. room right now that is good at speaking online the problem the issue is with the society is that okay yes chief has all this whatever charisma or whatever he's very influential the problem that the that the system has with chief is that he's not using that charisma and that influence for to, them to further their system he's not using that charisma to be a basketball player He's not using that charisma to jump over hurdles and entertain white America. He's not. No, that's not what it is. That's not what it is at all. He was not using that charisma to continuously send people to hell. And that's what it was. Instead, he chose to be out here making a fool out of himself. Out here dancing in the streets, acting acting crazy, getting him, himself kicked out of restaurants, uh, making a public scenes. Using that to go chase a bag, a piece of paper. Yeah. He's using that to actually lead people into their righteous mind liberate liberate us liberate ourselves and that's why he's so dangerous to them and that's why they're trying to label him as a cult leader because he doesn't want any parts of the united states of america's cult we never he never said he was a cult cult leader no. he just went back into nature and, and that's taught the about the science thing. about it. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. A lot of, and especially being on social media, a lot of words get taken Throwing out of context. Out they get misconstrued yeah. when it wasn't really said or meant in a certain way that people are taking it. Yeah. And it's like, it, it's just crazy. I, I found an article the other day. Um, one of one of our supporters had actually found and they sent it to me that the Georgia Supreme Court, they actually ov overturned a murder conviction um, Cause they played because a, a of social video. media. Mm -hmm. um, they swayed the jury using these rap videos that they made to actually get this person convicted. But that's not nothing different from what happened in our case. They used His social character. media. 
and and another thing is that they they like they took our words out of context. We didn't get a fair trial. No, they that was called very clear. me a liar. Mm-hmm. When a liar. I was like, wait a minute, how am I a liar? When I just explained very clearly. very clearly, they try to say that about the Chris Rock slap. When I had I had t- I had explained that already before I had said that was that we had already before those Chris Rock slaps we had already implemented things to grab the attention of the people. Yeah, y'all that was that. already in effect. And then when the Chris Rock slap had came out, mm-hmm. we implemented that part. Mm-hmm. We weren't slapping until after that. But that was the part that wasn't, we weren't able to get a fair, fair questioning, a fair trial. We weren't able to get that. The the judge, and if I may say so myself, was very rude to us. She was not like that to the other side. Yeah. And we were very, very articulate. And it's just not fair that we were not allowed or even properly prepared or questioned for this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's exactly. unfortunate. And somebody said the slap don't need to be explained. It, it really doesn't. Because he wasn't on charge for wasn't, no violence. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. When I was went up there to be questioned, I wasn't asked too many questions about that night. And they knew that I was a key witness there. If I tell you that I'm in the room when they walk in. And I was standing there watching the whole thing, the looking in the eyes and crying. I seen the and whole thing. And you explained thing. that really well. And, I but thought I how, did. how do you go over that? And say objection us. hearsay. The prosecutor had the nerve to say objection hearsay. Hearsay. And uh, more than that, how do you gloss over that fact that we were there? The main reason why we are here is for these char- these certain charges, right? And we're saying we were there, right? These other people who took stand was not there. So for one thing, Nature Boy didn't have a good attorney to sit there and represent him. And if he had an attorney, which he did, he wasn't doing the work in the library. They The jail has, a, I'm sure there's a library, there's things, you know, you can look up or whatever while you're in there. Nature Boy wasn't even trying to help his attorney to help himself. And then the day of the trial, I, I, I think part of the trial, uh, he wanted to fire his attorney. So, you know, there's there's nobody that's going to stand up and help this man fight for himself because he's mentally unwell. I mean, so for him to go through this trial in the way that he did... And he did some, was, he was even looking backwards, think, you know, so many times he looked, looked like he was getting ready to run up out of that courtroom. I don't, I don't even, you know, it, I don't think he's all there. He was showing signs of not being all there before he got arrested. There, there was also a lot of signs that they were watching him. And getting ready to make a move before they arrested him. They came and knocked on the door so many times, the police did. And so they, there, there was a, there, they had people going in that house to look around to see maybe if there was weapons inside, um, because they were getting ready to make a move. And then the Terry came up because somebody was putting some things in her ears and got her to do what she did. Allegedly. And so then they had all the, what they needed to go in and do what they did. Because they were going to do something. They, they were going to, they were plotting 
and making moves bef and not even knowing probably how they were going to go about getting him before Nateri came along because all you could tell they wanted him. The police came to the door acting all nice and, you know, and, and all they were doing is they're getting information for when they decided to do a raid. And in my opinion, somebody was working with them and letting them know when things were going on and when to go in the, to go and knock on the door. And yeah, that, that, that's just my opinion. And that's what I think. And that's what I'm going to stand by because I believe somebody was, was working with them to try to take him down, which is a good thing. But the, the lies that came with it after allegedly afterwards, that's not, that wasn't right. But like I said, in a previous video, evil's going to take care of evil. And we had nothing to do with that. Now these women obviously believe that he, that he, they're going to appeal this case. Now, I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't know if he will get a fair trial next time. But either way, you're not going to get a fair trial if you're not defending yourself. You did that to your, he did that to himself. He didn't get a fair trial because he, he screwed himself. He didn't even fight for himself. So how can you say, I mean, if you don't, if you're not going to fight for yourself and you're not going to help your attorney to help you, your attorney is going to sit there while the other side is saying hearsay, blah, blah, blah. And they're going to get points and win while you're sitting there looking stupid. So yeah, leave in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think he'll, he'll appeal this or well, they're obviously talking already that they're going to appeal this case, but do you guys think that this next trial or next appeal or whatever it is that it'd be any better than this one? Because I don't, how many times is it going to fire? The next attorney. He can't keep firing attorneys. He's got to work with the attorney. But he's also got to do the job and do the behind the scenes things. Because your attorney, he's not going to do all that. They're not. They don't, they don't care. Most times they don't care. And if, if they don't like you and they think you're guilty, they really don't care then. So anytime anybody goes through something like this, you've got to take it upon yourself to find out the laws regarding your case. Because you can't, you can't depend on a state appointed attorney to, to do all this stuff. He's not. And then it really doesn't help when you fire every, all the attorneys you get or the attorneys get so upset with you because you're not listening that they want to quit. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. God bless.